in America by broadcasting in cable magazine. Well, today was another hot and humid day across the area, but I do want to start off with what's going on in the tropics. Now we have two named storms in the Atlantic Basin. The first one, Hurricane Danielle, which is the first hurricane of the 2022 Atlantic uh, hurricane season, and Tropical Storm Earl, which just formed not too long ago. And here's pretty much the movement of where these storms are going according to the National Hurricane Center. A lot of models are trending that scenario. So let's go ahead and talk about Tropical Storm Earl. Now moving to the west northwest at 14 miles per hour. And at the center of this system, looking better to find, especially the couple of hours ago where the hurricane uh, hur hurricane hunters went into the system to investigate what's going on. So they found a closed circulation and the convection is trying to wrap around the center. It has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour and the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center again keeps it away from the Gulf of Mexico, but it is going to stay north and northeast of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and it is going to remain a tropical storm for the next several days. And then eventually, as we get closer to Monday, even Tuesday, it's going to take that northeasterly turn. Now, Hurricane Danielle packing winds of 75 miles per hour, looking very good on satellite imagery, it has stronger wind gusts of 90 miles per hour, and it's not really moving moving at all. This is located in the northern Atlantic and as we take a look at the latest forecast track, it is expected to remain a category one hurricane hurricane and may strengthen a little bit more as we go through our Sunday and our Monday and then also eventually taking that northeasterly turn not affecting any land. So that's the great news about both of those systems that we're going to continue to track for you guys. And as of right now, there aren't any immediate threats to the Gulf Coast here at home. We're nice and quiet, hot, humid. Temperatures are in the lower 80s, feeling like the upper 80s, of course, and we're dealing with a few clouds here and there. Today we saw a daytime high of 93, a little bit above average, and because it was just so hot, again, it felt so much warmer than our actual daytime high, and we really didn't see any rain at the Kenner Airport. There's a look at your current temperatures, lower 80s, mid 80s in a few locations. Mostly we're seeing upper 70s in many locations, but tomorrow, more rain and, sh and thunderstorms are in the forecast with temperatures climbing into the lower 90s. Not going to rain all day, but you may have to dodge a few showers. Early morning, a few coastal showers are possible. A few downpours. We'll see a break in the rain under mostly cloudy conditions. We get that daytime heating going on as we get closer to 5, 6 o'clock. And we'll begin to see more showers and thunderstorms fire up. And brief downpours are possible. If you're doing anything tomorrow, so many things happening this weekend. Just bring the rain gear with you just in case. Here's a look at your seven day lower 90s tomorrow 60 percent coverage for showers and storms upper 80s on sunday 50 percent coverage for showers and storms on labor day again not a complete washout temperatures climbing into the upper 80s a few showers and thunderstorms here and there then your typical summer like pattern through the rest of the week